One of the great things about an Android phone is all the ways in which you can customize it to truly personalize it and make it your own. And one of the most easy ways to do that is by installing applications that uh, expand what you can do with your phone. Truly make it yours and give it a lot of extra functionality uh, that matters to you. So in order to do that, you have to have a Gmail account already configured. And if you haven't done that already, uh, check out our video on how to create a Gmail account or sign in with an existing account. Assuming you have that done, this video picks up from there. And uh, you'll just open the program on your phone labeled Market. looks like a little green and white shopping bag. It says Market under it. And that should be true for any make and model of phone. And once we're in the market, it'll be the same for uh, all different phones. So go ahead and tap that to launch the market. It'll bring you to the home page, which gives you a featured app view. Here on the home page, you can view apps that are popular and uh, getting a lot of downloads. Scroll through those and see what uh, the featured app is. You can also go browse by categories. So to do that, you would click on app. This will show you uh, a category view. So you can see there's multimedia, news and weather, productivity, social, sports. Uh, so in order to download one of those applications that fall into those categories, you have to go into that category. So for today, let's find, um, let's find, let's go to multimedia. We'll download a radio. And now you've got three different tabs up at the top. Top paid applications, so in other words, the most popular applications that cost money. You've got top free, which is what we're going to check out today, and then just in, which is a category all on its own for brand new applications. So the app that we're going to install is Pandora Radio, which is a great free online music streaming service. It allows you to build your own radio station um, based on the type of music that you like. Artists, uh, songs, genres, time periods, you create it and it plays music um, just for you. So. From the list view, you'll click on the app that you want to download, in this case Pandora, and uh, it'll pull up its own page. It'll give you the uh, rating that other people have given the application, and uh, also a description of how the application works, what it is, what it does. It'll tell you how many times it's been downloaded approximately, uh, in this case over a quarter million. And then it'll give you a couple screenshots when you scroll down a little further of what the application looks like. Uh, the only thing that we're really interested in as far as getting the application is just going ahead and downloading it. To do that, uh, the button down at the bottom that says Install, tap that. It'll bring you to a page that uh, this isn't vastly important that you read through or anything. It just tells you what the application has access to on your phone. Just go ahead and bypass that. Just hit OK. And it says your item will be downloaded. And you can uh, just press the Home button on your phone to return to the main screen. And you can see the status of that download here in your notification bar by dragging it down. This one's already downloaded and already installed. The installation process is automatic, so after you've pressed the install button, um, it'll do the rest. Now that it's installed, we can go ahead and open it up. And to do that, because it's already installed, we know it's going to be in the app drawer or the launcher. So you can open your launcher up, and there's Pandora right there. You can, do, you can launch the app a few different ways, just by going ahead and tapping on it right from your app drawer. It'll launch. Uh, a different way to get to it would be to actually add it to your home screen, something uh, somewhere out here. To do that, go back to the app drawer, and uh, you'll scroll to and find the application, and then hold your finger down instead of just tapping it. Hold it down until your app drawer disappears and then you have the ability to move that uh, icon around. If you hold it down, you can drag it to other home screens and place it just by letting go. We're going to put it back on the main screen just for simplicity's sake. So you just push it over to the side, and now we've scrolled back over to the main screen. I'm going to put it right there, and then you can launch it a lot easier that way. So Pandora will open up. And uh, the process for this is true for any application, no matter what it may be that you're downloading from the market. Uh, it could be any number of different programs. And uh, there's not really a, a limit, per se, of how many you can download. Uh, the new phones have a, a lot of storage space on them. Uh, on one of the phones that I use, uh, I've got 
just shy of 70 applications installed, and I still have a ton of room for more. Uh, so really, as much as you want to do with the phone, you'll be able to. Uh, there's almost an app these days for just about anything. The scanner radio, for example, while we're looking at that, this will uh, give you a live scanner feed of uh, police, fire, railroad scanners, weather broadcasts, um, right to your phone. Pretty, uh, pretty slick, and you can listen to scan feeds from around the world. Again, same, uh, same idea here. You've got the description, a couple screenshots, the install button here. Hit install, hit OK. It says our item will be downloaded, so we know we're good to go back to the home screen. It's already downloaded, in fact, and just finished installing. There's our notification that scanner was installed. Oops. And same process for that. We know it's going to default into the uh, app drawer, into our launcher here. So there's scanner radio. We're going to go ahead and put that out on the home screen as well. Put it up here. And then just to launch it, just like any other app, tap to launch, and there you go. This has been a quick demonstration of just how to uh, use the Android market uh, as far as free apps go. Showed that off a little bit today, how to find applications, um, which I actually didn't show. The magnifying glass up here at the top will bring up a search, uh, search topic so you can search for specific applications or categories of applications. That's the other way to find them. So that's, uh, as I said, a demo of how to use the Android market, find and download applications, get them installed to your phone, um, and then launch them from either the app drawer or move them to your home screen. That's going to do it for today. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. Uh, this is Mike from ICT Droids signing off. Have a great day.